Welcome to SDX. I'm Ricardo, and this is phase four, which I'm calling Lean Machine. So ever since I'm doing my activities in the gym, I've noticed that my routine has been changing slowly. Um, I've slowly become stronger and was able to do more in the gym. So with this video, I'm making it official. Phase four, Lean Machine. It's about getting rid of fat and finally get some muscle definition. It has been a long journey so far, but now I'm here, able to start phase four. And if it works out, that would mean we're in for some exciting body changes. I'm not going to lie, phase four is challenging activity wise, but also on nutrition. I'm not sure yet how it will affect rest and recovery. So I will have to keep an eye on that. So let's start with activity. First of all, it's very important to keep listening to your body. So I'm not going max 2000% every day. The activity intensity will ramp up slowly. So my body will tell me each day when enough is enough. So as a result, my body will slowly be able to handle more and more. Um, so what am I going to do for activity? So first of all, I'm going to do my activity five days per week. So preferably from Monday to Friday in a concentrated period of time. So that would mean for me two hours in the gym from Monday to Friday. So I will start with stretching. My stretching is pretty simple now. And when my body changes, I might need to look up some more advanced stretching techniques. So next, I'll do walking and running on the treadmill for around 7,000 steps. The other 3,000 steps will be added by other daily activity. So so then that's the way I will keep doing the 10,000 steps. Here it's important to break a sweat. It's basically a warming up of the body. And every activity afterwards will feel so much better. I believe in keeping walking and running in the routine as it helps to increase stamina. And it's an activity we do daily and sometimes take for granted. It feels so much better when it's effortless and you're almost gliding towards places you need to be. Um, even though it's basic, I think it's an important skill to keep training. To increase the intensity, I will slowly run uh, more and faster. So after warming up, it's time to focus on muscles. I will try to train as many muscles my body realistically allows me to. So a full body workout, and I start by using weights and machines. To increase the intensity, I will prioritize doing more repetitions before I would increase the weight. Because my goal is to become lean and not bigger, as in bigger muscles. Um, after I'm stronger, overall, I will move more towards training that activates more muscle groups. As machines in the gym usually focus just on singular muscles. So later I hope to do uh, stuff like squats, uh, push-ups and pull-ups, for example. Um, all right, so that's it for activity. So now let's look at an equally big challenge or maybe an even bigger challenge, which is nutrition. So the goal here is to eat as less as possible while keeping it healthy. So I'm not a big fan of tracking everything that I eat, but I'm looking at the calories of products more now. So I don't eat more than I would consume in an inactive state. Um, the Rampo app is telling me that in an inactive state, I consume around 1800 calories daily. Let me show you the app quickly. Oh, 
Well, this is the Rempo app, and we see here BMR. So the basal metabolic rate in an inactive state, this is the minimum necessary energy needed. So this is 1815. So what I think, I think this differs per, per person and per body type. Honestly, I think if I would do it, um, if I would eat every day 1800 calories, I would only be gaining weight. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to try something extreme and try to stay between the 500 at a thousand calories daily. This is the goal, but it will probably take some time before I get used to it. And occasionally I still have a cheat day to keep my sanity, to be honest. So what am I actually going to eat? So I will mainly eat proteins, vegetables and fruits. I'm used to taking big bites out of food and eat fast, but with only being allowed to eat so little food, I have to eat slowly and savor it more so that the feeling is more satisfying and, and keep the food cravings away. Also, it's important to eat and drink smart, so avoid drinks with sugar is one, for example. So, for example, I like chocolate milk uh, or, or milkshakes, but if I drink that, I would be used up a lot of my calorie quota and the food cravings will still most definitely come so i will drink mostly water tea and other zero zero calorie drinks so now if that isn't difficult enough i will also try to postpone my food intakes as long as possible so which is similar to fasting or uh, intermediate fasting this is actually something i've already been doing for a long time um, the longer you can go without food the more your body will tap into your reserves which are the fats uh, we want to get rid of so usually i stop eating around seven in the evening and only eat in the morning after training or try to push, push it till noon after training i usually eat protein rich foods uh, afternoon till seven is where the most challenge is here i will mostly eat fruits and for dinner vegetables with the protein all right so like i said before i'm not sure how this routine will affect rest and recovery i think it will be okay but i'll have to keep an eye on it Two days in the weeks are dedicated uh, for this, for rest and recovery. Uh, for me, that will be the Saturday and Sunday. So I'll schedule it in the weekend so I can spend my quality time with friends and family, which I think is important. Um, and on these days, I also skip basic activities like the 10,000 steps and stretching. I can still do it, but I will not focus on it. All right, I'm excited for this challenge and more for the potential results in physique. So this was SDX, see you next time.